check out ancient town in Chongqing. It's the Quanzhai Alley from Chengdu. Hi, I'm James from the UK and welcome to our latest in a video series of why people love Chongqing. I've just walked through the Zhengjiayan bookstore and walking through this old bookstore feels like a passageway of time. But now I found myself on this lovely balcony with a fantastic view over the Jialing River. Over there is the newest bridge in Chongqing called Zhengjiayan Bridge and it connects the bustling districts of Jianbei and Yuzhong. On the top we can see that there are six lanes of traffic going in either direction and underneath we have the rail tracks for line number 10. At the moment it doesn't look like there are a lot of cars on it but come peak time it gets really really busy. Now in Chongqing we have two main rivers we have the Jialing and the Yangtze and in total we have over 20 bridges and this is the main reason why Chongqing is known as the bridge capital of China. I remember when Line 1 was built back in about 2006, something like that. And I remember the first time I took a trip on it as well from Yanjiaping to Jiefang Bay. You know, something I really like about it that is that unlike other lines, which are mostly underground, most of this line is above ground. So you get a really scenic tour of the city and also the landscape here. Another thing I like about it as well is that the monorail lane is right on the hillside for a lot of the, uh, lot of the stretch. So this allows you to get a really close-up view of people going about their daily lives and you know whilst you're waiting to reach your destination you, know, you can look out across the river and you can see lots of famous landmarks as well if you know the city well. So I have to say this is one of my favourite lines in Chongqing. So to cap off the transport network in Chongqing and to make it more modern and convenient for citizens, the city is performing an upgrade to make the city network blend more harmoniously with the national environment and the cityscape. So in the near future, hopefully we can get to see a futuristic Chongqing that is 8D. Lisa Bao Station has been a tourist hotspot here in Chongqing for the past three, four years ago. And people from all over China and abroad love to come here and watch the monorail trains go through the building. So Chongqing is not only known as a 3D city because of the bridges, but also unique locations like this. The station itself occupies the 6th, 7th and 8th floors of this building and directly above there are three residential blocks. You might think that the people who live there get disturbed by the trains, but actually they are fairly quiet and the ceiling is well insulated as well. I've also noticed that over the few years there have been a couple of additions. So because there are so many tourists here, they've, we've got a new tourist centre over there. And I've also noticed this mural is new and also the pretty landscape above. Uh, for me personally, because I've lived in Chongqing for so many years, I'm kind of used to this. But whenever I pass by, it doesn't matter whether it's day or night, there are loads of tourists on this green platform here. And they always come here and they love watching the monorail trains. If you look a bit further down the road as well, there's a new tourist hotspot. So every year during the springtime, people love to come here. And there are lots of spring flowers, there are peach blossoms. Uh, that looks really nice as a backdrop to the monorail trains. So that's a really, really popular place with both tourists and locals who come here to take some really nice pictures. <laughs> 